What a difference a day makes. This is Shannon Thorne's car stuck in the mud yesterday morning. Today, a very different looking Norway drive in Woolwich after some fill was brought in overnight. Ordered and paid for by the Association for the Homes Closest to the Main Road. If we can't get up and down the road with emergency vehicles, we, a lot of us, have kids, small kids. If my kid gets hurt and I can't get an ambulance back there, that's a big problem. Sherry Gregory and her neighbors who live in the back of the development have been fighting for the creation of one association to pay for the cost of maintaining the entire road. Right now there are two associations because the houses were built in two phases, 18 years apart. The battle of the associations happening in the middle of our interview. But you can. We welcome you to give your side of the story. Gregory addressing a member of the Front Association who interrupted our interview. We offered, we extended and said, look, we should have a statutory road association and we can all have equal share. And you weren't interested in that. So that's the state of our road. Gregory says the road needs to be repaired and brought up to code. They've got an estimate of $20,000, but who's going to pay for it? Peter Stevens lives halfway down the road. Well, everybody puts in their equal amount. We all use the road. The town says it has no dog in this fight because Norway Drive is a private road. But the selectmen have invited all of the parties, the associations, the lawyers, to a meeting on Monday night in hopes of hashing out a compromise. In Woolwich, Jim Cathley, WMTW News 8.